So I stopped eating meat. I was continuing with this low fat plan. And what I found was that my hormones just became a total mess. Give us three top things that are mistakes. Again, they could be well-intentioned that people have when it comes to their diet and how that impacts hormonal imbalance. Love this too. So I would say number one is juice. A lot of us think that juice is healthy. We think it's an efficient way to get, you know, maybe a green juice with celery and apple and spinach is so healthy for you. But we're really designed to eat those foods together with the fiber. So juice is not the panacea that a lot of people think it is. I think that's really essential to know. And one of the things that I was doing back in my 30s was that I would do these juice fasts and then I would refeed and I would gain all the way back. So it just wasn't a helpful thing for me. It set me up for yo-yo dieting and really, in some ways, ruined my metabolic health. So that's number one. Number two, I would say, is villainizing carbs. So I think we've gotten to a place where people hear about low-carb diet, they hear about the ketogenic diet, and they think, oh my gosh, I just need to cut carbs out of my life. I don't need carbs. I need protein. I need fat. Maybe they go on a classic ketogenic diet. And I think we have to be really careful about that because the data looking at folks who follow a classic ketogenic diet, we know that there's some significant changes that can occur to the gut microbes. So to the microbes themselves, plus their DNA, which is known as the microbiome, there can be a decrease in diversity, alpha diversity in particular. There can be a, a decrease in stool volume. And so we want to figure out, okay, it's not that carbs are the villain. It's actually metabolic inflexibility that's the villain. So that's what we want to address. Maybe we could talk a little bit about metabolic flexibility versus inflexibility. The third thing is, I would say, villainizing fat. So I grew up with Dean Ornish. I remember reading his books in high school. And when I went off to uh, college and medical school, I would make you know these pasta dishes with tons of vegetables and zero oil. And I remember in anatomy in medical school, so this is 1989, I was so uh, disturbed and freaked out about working with a cadaver that I just couldn't imagine eating meat. So I stopped eating meat. I was continuing with this low fat plan. And what I found was that my hormones just became a total mess. I remember my, my breast size went down by about two cups because I just, my cholesterol, I remember measuring it right around then after I went on this uh, vegan food plan with very little fat. What happened for me was that my total cholesterol went down to like 120. And cholesterol is the backbone of all the sex hormones that you make. If you look at the sex hormone pathway, it goes from cholesterol to pregnenolone, the mother hormone of all of your sex hormones. And it goes on to progesterone and cortisol and DHEA and testosterone and estrogen. So fat is not the villain. We went through that low fat phase, which I think did more harm than good and we're still recovering from it. So healthy fat is really important for you. It's the way that you make a healthy balance of hormones. So those are the three that I think are the most important. 